The 11th annual Mate International ROV competition took place in Orlando, Florida. 55 teams representing 19 states and 8 countries participated. Um, so we're from Mount Vernon, Washington. Well, we are from Moscow, Russia. We are from Purdue University. From Egypt. The Maid Center uses underwater robots, also known as remotely operated vehicles or ROVs, as a way to get students interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. An ROV is a tethered underwater robot used by industries in the real world to explore the ocean depths firsthand, often going to places too deep or too dangerous for humans. I have three girls, um, 14, 16, and 18. Um, they got involved with ROVs first when they were very young and they've grown up with ROVs as their main passion because they feel it's the most creative um, competition for them to learn anything where the other ones are all predetermined, um, pre-made and they're just putting parts together. This is the only one that challenges the creative side to actually develop an ROV. For the mate competition, teams build their own unique ROVs. During the process, they construct the ROV frame and waterproof all of the electrical components. They also design a control system that allows them to pilot their ROVs from the surface. Power for the motors, tools, lights, and cameras is sent down through a tether while a digital video signal and sensor information is sent back to the surface. There's been nothing like what we experience here, where they learn so many different sciences and put into just one product. And it's just like an airplane. Airplane has every type of science you can ever imagine. Well, so does this. And actually doing the application, actually not just learning the theory, but taking all that knowledge and then applying it and actually building something that could really be used and seen and function. How can you beat that? You can't. This is it. <laughs> Each year the competition mission theme changes and we do that to give students a taste of what's out there in the real world and how ROVs are supporting real world missions. In 2012 the competition theme focused on World War II shipwrecks, a real problem. It's some of these shipwrecks have been sitting on the ocean bottom for over 70 years. Their hulls are starting to degrade. If they have any fuel oil or other hazardous materials left on board, that could pose a real environmental disaster. The teams had several tasks that needed to be accomplished during their mission. Teams had to survey and map a simulated shipwreck site, then perform specific tasks at that site, such as measuring the wreck, retrieving a falling mast, and removing and transplanting encrusting coral. In addition, teams had to determine if the shipwreck contained fuel oil then they had to extract the oil and transport it to the surface. It's called a competition, but it's really more about collaborations. Teams sharing ideas, sharing parts and pieces, and really helping each other to be successful. The mate competition is different than other robotics competitions because you can get into it for a minimal amount of money. There's a nominal registration fee and teams are free to use the materials of their choice. For $300, they can basically start a team. For all the other projects that we see, you need minimum of $2,000 to $10,000. Teams can really be creative and that's a key component of the mate competition. We encourage innovation, problem solving, and teams coming up with unique ways to solve the challenges that we put before them. The MATE competition challenges students to think of themselves as entrepreneurs and to transfer their teams into companies. This helps them to understand the breadth of business operations and their role in them. Who will be the CEO, the CFO? Who will handle marketing? Who's going to handle research and development? And who will be in charge of testing? It really opened my eyes as to what it takes to build something. Like, we have the mechanical, we have the software, we have the electrical. All these components and all these people have to work together. And that's not something that you learn in college. Like, you know, you can go to class and you can learn the physics and stuff behind everything. But, like, the people you work with, how you work with them, all of those things together, you know, it's just, it's just an experience that you can't find in a college classroom. So that's how this has affected me directly. What I've seen in this case is, is 
emphasizing structure, a corporation. I mean, who would ever thought of a corporation as being fun? But these guys, each one had a role uh, that they were accountable for. And they learned certain things that before they, they thought was very uninteresting. You know, who cares about software or pneumatics or structures or propulsion? But they realized that this is actually, it can't be fun. I'm an accounting major. And I was in charge of keeping up with all of our expenses and our fundraising and donations, uh, everything like that on the business side of the, the RV company. Now, did you have the opportunity to do anything like that as an accounting major? No, it's all in the classroom, studying books. So this is your first like business and accounting yes. experience? Yes, it's such a relief to get out of the classroom. With an RV team. Yeah. Great. That's great. It's fun to get out of the classroom and do something real world instead of just sitting and staring at books all day. The mission of the Mate Center is to prepare people for the marine technical workforce. We want to make sure that they not only have the technical knowledge, but they also have the aptitudes that make graduates employable in the workforce. So how long have you been working with ROVs? Uh, this is my third year with ROVs. I joined the team on its second year. Do you think did they, uh, this being on the ROV team help you get a job? Oh, definitely. Uh, when you're looking for internships or full-time work, everyone wants people with experience. And this is a really great place to get experience because you get training, working with the electrical guys, the software guys, building mechanical systems that no one would trust you with if you didn't already have experience somewhere else. I've talked to a, a couple potential um, employers and this is the one thing that they all want to talk about when I go into an interview. You want to talk about your ROV building? Mm -hmm. uh, I do food automation and packaging so I work with a lot of robotics and automation, uh, also hard automation so that we can make uh, pies, cakes, bread, things like that, package it, get to the stores in better condition than you do now. Uh, I've actually been hired on with the ROV company as a technician. Do you think that's because of your involvement with ROVs? I believe so. A lot, a lot of it has to do with that. Ma'am, we are looking for about 150 potential employees. Uh, our recruiter, Darian Bro, is here as well. And he's always got his eye out because we're looking for about 150 people before the end of the year. Uh, definitely ROV has been a positive aspect of my learning. It definitely gives me the opportunity to learn more things than I do in class. I mean, it's definitely that practical experience that's hard to get anywhere else. It's a real industry out there, so that's, that's just something that just can't be emulated in a classroom, no matter what anyone tries to sell you. And uh, I definitely want to continue with this team. I could be on this team four years. I could be on this team more than four years. I could have a different job every time, and I will be learning so much. And it just helps you no matter what you do. The MATE competition is supported by the National Science Foundation, the Marine Technology Society, and hundreds of other businesses and professional organizations.